Welcome to the EXP Group, one of the leading providers of business training solutions. Please enjoy this presentation and visit us on the web at www.theexpgroup.com for more information. Hello and welcome to Chapter 2 of ACCA P3 of the uh, EXP video course. Chapter 2 looks at the environment the environment that an organization will be working within and also we're going to look at some of the competitive forces that are present okay again have a quick look at the word cloud at the start of the chapter that gives us an overview of what's going to be involved within this chapter we're looking at organization products knowledge strategic changes industry entrance there's quite a lot going on here. Okay, let's start by looking at the big picture. In order to design suitable strategic plans, an organization needs to be aware of the external issues facing it. So we're looking at the external issues, the environment. It cannot plan in isolation. This chapter looks at a number of methods of reviewing the environment surrounding an organization. And, as it said, this area is examined on a regular basis. So what we're saying is, remember, an organization, when it's looking at its strategy, when it's planning its strategy, when it's planning, it's analyzing things to look at the situation around it before it decides what its choices are and how to implement them, we need to be aware of the environment that the organization is working within. We cannot ignore the environment. The first model we're going to look at here is pestle analysis. A very well-known model, it's been around for a long time, but we must have an understanding of this. Sometimes it is known as pest analysis or slept analysis. Sometimes it's even le pest analysis, but it's the same thing, just different ways of calling it. Pestle analysis. Now, this looks at the macro environment. So, a little diagram here. If we imagine, here's the organization. Everything outside the organization in the immediate vicinity is competitor analysis, which we'll look at later. And this instead looks at the big macro environment. Now, quickly running through, what does PESTLE stand for? P, political. Look on the next page, page 12. E, economic, social, technological, legal, and environmental. So those are the six issues that PESTLE looks at. Now, let's look at these in a bit more detail. So first of all, political. This looks at the global, national and local changes and trends within the political arena. So, for example, we'll look at taxation policies. What's happening to the taxation system in a certain country? We'll then look at relationships between certain countries. Now, always try to have an awareness of the current global issues. The examiner will give you good marks if you've got an understanding of what is happening in the real life. If you're just learning from a textbook without an understanding, that's not as good as if you follow reasonable newspapers, you listen to the business news, you understand what's going on. So keep up to date with all of these things. Political. The next, economic global, regional and local issues, exchange rates, linked to topical issues such as a global recession, current interest rates of funding. Now, I said a moment ago, make sure we're up to date with things. There's a global recession. What are interest rates at the moment? There's been one of the worst banking crises for years in, in living memory recently. So what does that mean in terms of companies having access to funds, for example? 
to invest in new projects. In the case study, in the exam, you may determine that a company should invest in project Y. Does it have the funds? If it does not have the funds, how easy is it going to be to get the funds in today's banking environment? The next one, social. Changes in behaviour and expectations in society. For example, within demographics and lifestyle. One interesting thing, just to be aware within social, is that one thing we are seeing in a number of countries is that people are becoming more health conscious. Whether that is they are exercising more, they are eating healthily, but generally in a lot of countries people are becoming more health aware. Health aware. So there's a switch under the social side to people move towards more healthy issues. Again, be aware of that just in case in the case study there's an issue situation which involves health or issues like that within the social side of things. The next one, the T, technological changes including hardware, software, e-issues, materials and services and global communications. What's the key thing that's been happening recently? It's the internet. Internet and all the various e-issues. The world is a lot smaller place now because of the technological side of things. Within pestle analysis, just be aware how technology is changing and how could that impact on an organisation that is in the case study, for example. Next one, legal. Be aware of the legal issues. Changes, predicted changes to regional and national legislation. Changes to employment law. A couple of things just to be aware of, EU or, or other trade groupings. If countries are within the same trade organisation, the, the same grouping, then trading is a lot easier. There's a limited number of trade barriers. Changes to employment law. Even though we're not expected to be experts on employment law, just be aware of things such as minimum wages. Will there be a certain number of maximum working hours if you're in the, the transport industry, for example? So that's pestle analysis, which looks at the global environment.